Today, we are going to cover how number lines are used for solving addition and subtraction. Number lines are useful because we see them in many areas, like in measurement, geometry, and plotting data. Using number lines for addition is like counting up on a number line. So you mark the first add-in on the number line, which is 6, and you just count up by the second add-in, which is 7. On the number line, you'll end up with 13. So 6 plus 7 equals 13. When adding with tally marks, we count tally marks. When adding using the number line, we are also counting things. In a sense, we are counting units of space or the distance between numbers. Let's say you have a table that is 3 feet tall. On the table is a toy that is 2 feet tall. What is the combined height of the table plus the toy? As shown with this measuring stick, you start at 3 feet, then count up 2 feet to get to 5 feet. 3 plus 2 equals 5. A number line can be used for subtraction in two ways. Let's cover the first method. I had 10 snap cubes and then I subtracted 4 cubes. I have 6 left. To show this on the number line, you start with 10 for the starting number of snap cubes, then hop backward 4, which represents removing 4 snap cubes. Where you end up on the number line is the solution. This is like the count what is left method of subtraction. Now imagine there is a tree that is 14 meters tall. You chop off the top 8 meters, then you count what is left. The tree has 6 meters of trunk remaining. 14 minus 8 equals 6. The second method of using a number line for subtraction is like measuring the difference in length or height. Let's look at 14 minus 8 again. Instead of starting with 14 and removing 8 to get 6 left, I can think of this as comparing two objects like buildings. The first building is 14 meters tall, so circle 14 on the number line. Now imagine there is a second building that is 8 meters tall, so circle 8 on the number line. Then calculate the difference in height by counting up or down between 14 and 8. The difference is 6. So that is how to add and subtract using a number line. With addition, you can begin with the first add-in and count up by the second add-in to get the sum. In subtraction, there are two methods. The first is starting with a number on the number line and then hopping back by the subtraction amount. This is like the count what is left method. The second subtraction method is to compare the difference between numbers on the number line. You can circle the two numbers you are comparing and just count up or down to find the difference. Thanks for watching. Remember to multiply your fun and divide your worries. You can count on Parker Math and more, so please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.